Hey, welcome back to the Electrician's Tool Channel. Today we're going to do just a little short review on stubby screwdrivers. Uh, I'm sure that a lot of you have, have a lot of stubby screwdrivers, may have more than one as, as, uh, like I do, uh, and uh, several types, several makers uh, like I do. And But what I wanted to focus on today, how much do we use them as electricians? Um, how much do we use them as electricians? I can tell you right now that I don't use them enough. <laughs> I don't use them enough at all. And uh, with that being said, I'm not saying that they're not handy because uh, they because they do. It's one of those screw uh, one of those tools that you don't use every day, but when you need it, you're glad you have it. So, you know, but we're just going to focus on how much, shine a light on how much do you use a stubby screwdriver, okay? So, uh, mm -hmm. before, we get, before we get started, fellas, uh, I'm, I'm going to ask you to hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that, uh, uh, leave a comment if this is your first time viewing the channel. Uh, you know, yeah, if, if you forget any kind of value out of it whatsoever, do one of the three, or do all three, even share it, that'll be good. So you can share it, let somebody else get some uh, entertainment out of it. Um, so, and all of that is for free, just in support of the channel. That's all, that's all. just support of the channel. But anyway, um, talking about such, uh, stubby screwdrivers, right here, what you see, I have five, five stubby screwdrivers, uh, by three different makers. And the reason why I say three different makers, because these, the, the, the three right here from Klein, this one, this one, and this one from Klein. This one is from a brand, from a name brand. Um, I got this from... I can't remember, but what sold me on this was the multi-bit. It was like a multi-bit, almost, you know, and uh, it's not a ratcheting one. I see a name on the side called Max Tech, M-A-X-T-E-C-H. No, it's, uh, yeah, Max Tech. And uh, I can't remember where I got it from, but that was the thing that really sold me on this one, the multi-tip one, you know. It was, uh, was going to take the place of me having to carry a Phillip, uh, a flathead, and a Phillip, and I can use, you know, I can use it. And they have several bits and have, have torques in here and a square bit uh, tip in here. So that's what made me bought this one. But, guys, I don't use it enough, you know, but I still have it. I'm not saying I, I want to get rid of it or anything like that. Just shining the light on how much do we use them. This is an ordinary square a cabinet tip right here. Things like a number two cabinet tip. By Klein, this is a Philip by Klein. This is the number two Philip by Klein. Uh, and I'm gonna skip this one. I'm gonna get back here. So I want to talk about this one. And this is the uh, this is a a, 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 a nut driver, uh, well, a quarter inch nut driver by Klein um, stub. Now, and this is a ratcheting one by stub. Looking at it, guys. I'm sure for some of you familiar are familiar with the color, but I was surprised about this one. And this bring to mind something that we talked about. I've talked about in one of my videos. I can't remember which one, but I'm sure I brought it up. How, how, and I'm going to tell you the name of this one in a minute. How a lot of those, a lot of tools nowadays are being rebranded, being made basically by one manufacturer. And I guess everybody put their order in how many you want. I'm a, I'm a big name company. My name is already out there. So what up? Whatever I stick my name on, people are gonna jump to it, and uh, I'm not shining a light on no one company out there because they're all doing it. But anyway, and this, these people who are selling this screwdriver are no different. So the question is, uh, do it matter if we go out and buy a screwdriver tools from this place, uh, a big a big box place? a big name place or buy the same tool from a cheaper place, but it's the same tool, just rebranded by a cheaper company. And this one, the name of this one is Doyle. And this is sold by Harbor Freight. I want you guys, I don't have my tool bag in here, but I want you guys to take a look at the this little ratcheting part around here. Think about, think about well, those of you who have one, uh, think about the Klein, the Klein ratcheting screwdriver this little shaft the way it's made. This is the same, even down to this little, but Klein is black, 
with the little and, and that right here is uh, yellow on the client. This little switching from from left to right reversing is yellow. This is the same identical screwdriver as if I was to paint this red it was yellow, this would be a Klein. The same thing. And this thing caused me, I think Klein wants something like $20 for this, I believe. Maybe 20 maybe 25 Doyle at Harbor Freight wants $8 for this. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying go out and buy two, you know, you buy who you want to buy from, but the point is, look at, uh, you know, you get the same exact tool, the same exact tool, eight dollars. You're saving yourself maybe fifteen dollars, but it's the same exact tool. And they have another one besides this. They have the longer one, uh, a regular ratcheting screwdriver. It's the exact same tool the one that client sells. They have it, and uh, like for fourteen dollars. And I think client won like twenty five, thirty dollars for theirs. If if I'm not mistaken, I think it's more, but. <sighs> You know, that's the point I'm trying to make. Hey, you know, now don't get me wrong. I'm not saying put down your clients, put down your green leaves, put down your, your uh, whatever tools that you got just to go out and buy stuff from Hall oh, Freight. No, I don't trust their tools like that. But they are stepping up the game a little bit. So some things that you could get away with. You know, if you go to Harbor Freight, instead of paying $50, you might get away with it going to Harbor Freight, buy the same exact tool and pay $10 for it. But that's all I want to say. But anyway, stubby screwdrivers. You know, how much do we use them? I very, I, I use this one. I can't even say how many times. I can't remember. Look, there's no marks on the, uh, I mean, I have used it before, but there's no, really no marks on the on the tip at all. Because I, I use this one, I've used this one more than I use the, the common tip. I may have used this one. Mm, you can count the times on one hand. I'm gonna say three. I'm gonna say three. Uh, this one. I've never used this one before, but I've just gotten this one, so I never used this one yet. I just took it out of the pack. And I'm going to give you some information on this one, too. But this, the, the, out of all of the five that you see here, this this, this the one I've used the most, and these two are the ones that I've used the most out of all of them. This one, like I said, this one don't count because I just got this one. But um, these two, hardly ever. Hardly ever. But I just wanted to shine some light on some stuffy screwdrivers. But if I had to pick one out of out of pick out of all of, out of all of these right here, which ones I would pick to use out of all of them, uh, it would be these two if I had to. It'll be put these on the side right here, out of the way. It'll be this one. And why I would pick this one? Because of the ratcheting mechanism. If if I'm uh in a bind somewhere, I can ratchet it out. And this one because of the multi bits. So this would this would be the two that I pick to carry around with me. In fact, that's what I'm thinking I'm gonna do. I'm probably keep these at the house just in case. I keep these in the house at, at, in my home tool bag. Uh, but these are the two that I'm going to pick. But let me give you a little bit more information on this one right here while I got it right here. This is this is by Doyle, and it's a six-in-one ratcheting multi-bit screwdriver. They say it's rugged, uh, uh, rugged high torque ratchet, reversing ratchet mechanism, high strength S2 steel. Uh, you get the for the fill up bits, you get a number one and a number two. The slotted, you get a number a, a quarter inch and a three sixteen. Nut driver, you get a quarter inch and a five sixteen. And uh, let me see what else you got on the back of here. The model number, if you're looking for it, if you can't find it in Harbor Freight. You make it go online. It's five six six seven three, and it's by Doyle, and it's sold by Harbor Freight. Uh, Doyle is a company made in uh, made in Taiwan. Yeah, it's, yes, made in, in made in Taiwan. Um, but anyway, um, it doesn't feel any different as far as uh, quality. It doesn't feel cheaper. Um, it, it, it feels the same exact quality as, as the 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 corporate client. That's out there. So, guys, you you make it save yourself a few, uh, save yourself a few bucks if you're looking to buy one of these here instead of going by the one online for client for thirty dollars. You know, just to say you have a client, you may go to run down the hall of freight and get you one for eight dollars. Throw it in your bag and be proud of it. So, um, just want to tell you that you know, just talk about some stubby screwdrivers and uh, you know, give you guys a little info on on this one here. 
and the two picks of that I would that I'm gonna start carrying with me. These, like I told you, these going back and, and put them in my in my home in my home toolbox. And this, I know I'm, I think I may take this one with me. Uh, I may have to use it. This is a quarter. I don't know how I'm gonna you know. Probably, let me see this one. I think this have a quarter on it. Uh, oh yeah, no, this have a quarter nut driver. No, so I don't need to bring this with me anymore. So this have a quarter nut driver. So yeah, I'm good. I carry these two right here with me, and I'm good to go. Uh, guys, thank you for letting me take up your time. Don't forget to hit that like button and hit that uh, right that uh, give me a, um, hit the subscribe button and leave a comment and uh, share the video if you choose to. You guys take care and until next time, peace out.